Hello everyone and welcome to another lockdown interview. Today I'm delighted to be joined by Jan Tratnik of Bahrain McLaren. Jan is part of the recent Slovenian cycling surge that has been happening on the world tour and he became the national champion on the road in 2016. Jan Tratnik has also shown that he's an accomplished time trial rider with two national titles to his name and a win in the prologue of the Tour de Romandie last year as well as a top 10 finish in the world championships in Bergen in 2017. But Jan is not just a time trialer, he has also won the one day race, the Walter Limburg in 2018 and Jan won the overall of the Tour of Slovakia in 2017 with a dominant performance. So lots to discuss, so without further ado, here is the interview with Jan Tratnik. Hi Jan, how are you doing? Okay, um, yeah, I'm fine, um, starting to get ready for season restart. <laughs> but everything is fine, healthy, and this is the most important thing right now. Where are you and how have you, how has you found lockdown and how have you been keeping yourself fit as well? Um, most of the time now, yeah, I am in, yeah, of course, in Slovenia, but I'm moving because I live in Ljubljana and also in my, where I live normally all the time in Idria, so, Normally, I'm one, one week in Idria and one week in Ljubljana, so that it's not too much the same. And yeah, um, a, a little bit different trainings, different roads, so it's a little bit easier to move a little bit. Um, yeah, right now it's, it was quite a long time already, already three months at home. And uh, yeah, it's not bad, bad, because we had quite good... Um, quite a good condition we were never locked down like we must stay in the house but we can move outside so this was really good so i can do all trainings outside the weather was perfect so yeah i'm healthy my family is healthy so i cannot complain but yeah i really miss already the races yeah yesterday was uh the world a uh, bicycle day and you went on a 200 kilometer ride with some famous Slovenian guys. <laughs> uh, yeah, yesterday we meet all um, um, all um, Slovenian National Federation, the riders who are in the World Tour teams and we did um, like yeah, 200k um, around Ljubljana and yeah, it was really nice. It was warm good weather nice company and we had um, a lot of fun yeah so what what are kind of your goals for the revised uci calendar for now it's not clear yet because the team is working um to yeah to put to each rider um, optimal race calendar but um i think yeah will stay the same as before like the main goal was Giro and I think will stay the same. And then, um, yeah, for me, it, it doesn't matter so much what I will do in August before and in September. But if I do Dauphiné or Tour of Poland, for me, it doesn't change a lot. So, yeah, I will be happy just to race something. And, yeah, and I think we'll, I will go for full preparation for Giro d'Italia. So you've actually, uh, a few of the guys who've done this lockdown interview haven't raced at all, but you've actually raced a bit this year. You've raced in the Saudi tour. How, how was racing, racing there? And you've also got Mark Cavendish who joined the team. So how did that, that whole tour go for you? Uh, yeah, in um, Saudi, I was first time there. Um, yeah, also first race there. And yeah, before we went there, I didn't, I didn't know what to expect. Okay, I think it was it was not bad race, especially because we won it. Um, yeah, there was also Mark, and yeah, I think um, it was really good atmosphere. We, we were really good group. We had a lot of fun. Also, I learned a lot from Mark because uh, he had a lot of experience, and um, yeah, it was yeah in the end it was really nice because uh, we won and i saw a new country was it hot there um not so much it was um, around 25 degrees it i think it was perfect weather for racing 
um, not too hot, not too cold, and yeah, it was quite nice. Yeah. McLaren has become a partner of your team now, so it's Bahrain McLaren. Have you kind of found any influence with them on the team yet? Have since you're a time trial rider, have they helped you with aerodynamics or things like that? Yeah, they they helped me a lot. Um, already last year, we tried with some um, 3D thermal cameras um, to make uh, like handlebar, which I got last year, the 3D printed. And um, I went also this year in so bef after, no before before Farinis, I went also to wind tunnel where we did a lot of testing, but yeah, after this, the coronavirus came and we couldn't um, practice on the races, but I think um, they are working really hard now. So yeah, the soon the races will start, I will be, yeah, I, will, I will have ready my bike and equipment. Um, but yeah, I think they are, um, they are uh, with technology, they are uh, further. So we can learn a lot from them and yeah, I hope to also then to show on the races. So in recent years, um, Slovenia have kind of gone from a country that, well, people didn't really associate with cycling. And now you guys seem like you're the golden generation for Slovenian cycling. How does it feel to be part of that and just being at the races and being yeah, one of the cycling nations of the world now. Uh, yeah, it's it's been really great to be part of this, um, especially because I think with all of the riders, all of this group, we are we are really friendly. So everybody like each other, um, and yeah, it's good atmosphere. And of course, we have now right now two of the best riders in the world. Today, Pogacar and Primo Roglic, and yeah, it's um, I don't know, it's I don't know what to say, but I think it's each rider is doing hundred percent, and yeah, we we are just good group of I think some of them are still young, some of yeah, like me, I'm not okay, I'm not old, but um, still um, it's. Um, I don't know how to say, but I don't know what is this. I think maybe also because of good management and um, yeah, we just click and we are really good together. Yeah. I don't know how to say. <laughs> so you've actually been national champion a few times. You were a national champion in the time trial in 2015. And how was it winning the national championships for you? Time trial, I was 2015, 2018, and road, I was 2016. Yeah, for sure, I think the for me was the biggest win when I won a um, road race. Um, because, okay, on the 2015, when I won time trial, it was not so many so many riders on the start. So this... The date when we did um, time trial, it's not the perfect date because during that time was also Tour de Define. It was not many riders from the start. So 2015 was not so hard to get this journey. <laughs> yeah, in 2016, I became road, uh, national road champion. And yeah, that year I was really strong. And um, in the end, I stay alone with Primoz, but he had some technical um, issues so yeah okay in the end I won and yeah I was really proud of this and also then with 2018 national time trial um, I did really there was also I think it was rain and uh, about performance I did really really good so again there was just Pogacar on the start so again, it was not so much um, concurrent or how to say. Um, so yeah, in the end, I'm I'm proud of all national jerseys, and I just hope that I will win um, also in um, in the next year, this year or next year. Yeah. How did you get into cycling? 
Oh, um, 2017. So when I was 17 years old, um, uh, my I'm not, I don't know how to say coach in school. It's um, so PE you know, Yeah, when I when I was going in, into the school, yeah, I was quite sportsman before. I played basketball for eight years. So one day this. Um, teacher asked me if I want to join one mountain bike race and I said of course because it's better to go on a race than on, in the school <laughs> so I went there and I was with one really old mountain bike and with no normal shoes normal clothes I was there I will I finished on third place and after this after this race I just yeah I just fall in love in cycling so then I started a little bit mountain biking not so much road but yeah in my city we had uh, we have uh, one small cycling team for juniors and um, younger generation so yeah then I I go there I just ask for license I buy my first road bike and then I start and yeah, first year was a little bit hard, but then second year in um, category juniors, I already won, I think, seven races and I improved a lot. So, yeah, it, then I just start cycle every day and became my job. <laughs> Is there like a setup in Slovenia, like how in Italy or Belgium, where it's, the racing is quite consistent? Or did you have to go abroad a lot when you were younger? Yeah, I raced a lot in the Italy. We had a lot of races in Italy. And with national team, we travel a lot also. Um, we did, I think, Czech, Italy, then Austria, more these countries around the Slovenia, Croatia. But also in uh, Slovenia was in that time, so 10 years ago was a little bit more races than it's now. So more criteriums, more normal races. Um, but if I'm honest, I don't know how many races they do now, the juniors, because I don't follow. Um, but yeah, we had, I think we had like each week, one race or two races per week. So it was not so bad. So you also raced with um, CCC, the Polish side? when they were a pro continental team and in 2017 you won a stage race i can't even pronounce the slovakian one of course yeah how was that race for you um yeah i came there um, directly from giro d'italia so actually i really didn't know how i will go because um, first days at home i was really tired my first grand tour and then uh, already after one week, I need to go to Tour of Slovakia. And um, yeah, Tour of Slovakia. And yeah, I went there without expectation, but I did really good prologue. And then I, I kept my jersey till the finish. And yeah, after Giro, I was in pretty good shape then. So for me, it was really good yeah, to take this opportunity and to won this stage race. So yeah, I was really happy and it was a nice race. In the Giro after it, were you completely wrecked or did you feel like you just took a few days and then you had like a better form or? Yeah, first three days I think I took without bike or four days. I played a little bit longer and also in the afternoon. And then I just went for uh, for some easy rides. Just, I just listened to my body. But um, yeah, I recovered pretty well and I didn't do nothing special, just resting and then one day before race, um, I did some activation and then the race started. And yeah, it was really good. Yeah. <laughs> In 2018, you had a very good year. You had some, well, you won the Walter Limburg Classic and had a good performance in the Brantis Peel. How, how were those races for you? Because I... They're more like one day races rather than time trials. Yeah, maybe um, 
Limburg, I, uh, this period in March, I'm in March, I also won last stage of Copy Bartali that time. So in that period, I was really in, in really good shape. I also did a lot of, a lot of, a lot of work in December, January, and February, and all of this hard work pays off there um, on these races. Um, yeah, I, I was really focused on these races with um, with the team. They want me to to perform well, and I really prepared 100%. Um, and I think all this period was for me great. I yeah, I I won two races in one week, and then Brabant Cepel I was fifth. And yeah, it was really good. Also, not just time trial because okay, maybe maybe some people think that I just can time trial on this, and but yeah, for me it's like I want to focus on all all part of the races um so all of the types not just time trial but also on one day or some stage or this and yeah that period was for me pretty special and um i'm proud of this win also you also went to the world championships in innsbruck and uh, i actually interviewed some slovenian fans that were saying you were going to win the time trial how was innsbruck for you though while racing for Slovenia. Yeah, in Innsbruck it was not the, I think it was just a bad day there because um, one week or two weeks ago, that time I was second on Tour of Slovakia again. I was just behind Julian Alaphilippe, so the condition was there. And when I arrived in the, arrived in the Innsbruck, we did with team also Tintan trial, where I felt yeah, strong. Um, but then on individual time trial, I I feel just weak. I couldn't push, and I think was just some or maybe too much effort on the team time trial. And yeah, my day on time individual time trial was just horrible. <laughs> it was just one hour of dying, and it was really long. And uh, yeah, it was not day to remember <laughs> because then also after three days on the road race. I again feel really good and I was almost half of the race on the front and um, pulling for, yeah, because we work for Primoz, so yeah, I did a lot of work on the front and again I feel pretty, pretty strong, so in the end it was just bad there, yeah, unfortunately. A yeah, previous World Championship, you've actually hit a top 10 in the time trial, how was that for you? Uh, yeah, it was a little bit, <laughs> I was really surprised and happy. I I just didn't expect that. Um, I just went there um, without any pressure and nothing, just to enjoy. And in the end, I did really, really good time trial. Also, the performance and power was really high. So I really performed well. And I think also the the parkour really stood me there. So yeah, I I think it's still yeah one of the best time trial how do you kind of pace a time trial do you do a negative split or do you kind of just do the same constant effort through the whole time trial in bergen in world championship yeah did you yeah because uh, there was i did like people who yeah i did bike. i did i start a little bit easier um okay not easy but still hard but not all out and my goal was just to come under the climb with like 95 percent and then on the climb i went just 100 percent and i think the pace was 100 yeah it was really good um, calculated how to pace all time trial and um, i think it was also really important because if you go if you went on the flat and this first two laps too hard then you just stop on the climb if you were dead. So yeah, my I did really good pacing, and um, I think this helped me also to to be tent on the world. So as an accomplished uh, time trial rider, what are kind of your tips for anyone wanting to improve their time trialing? Um, yeah, for sure, this is the most important. Don't start too much fast 
because okay now if it's <laughs> if it's prolog or 5k long time trial it doesn't matter but if it's a long time trial more than i don't know 20 20 minutes you need to start a little bit with you know you will not you will not win race in first 500 meters so the pacing it's really important so um, yeah just don't start too fast and um, before before the race I think it's good like me I, I do like some visual visualization of the parkour so recon and then uh, then you think about the corners and everything and um, I think it here I include also pacing you know I all the time I'm thinking how to pace right um, but if you don't do the parkour one day before you cannot know how to go so recon is really important just to know how are the corners and um, yeah and um, what else I don't know be ready to pain to be to to have pain in the legs and I think if you can be um, mentally strong um, I think it's also really important this um, because on the time trial you are alone and if you if you can push yourself more than 100 percent i think will help <laughs> so mental in the time trial is really important yeah. so in 2019 you changed from ccc to bahrain merida at the time what was that yeah. change of teams like for you like just different culture and different mindset and it was a world tour team as well yeah, my my main goal was to uh, to to go in the World Tour. So 2018 was um, was a really good year for me. So I had some I had some also some I think some other teams, um, but in Bahrain we it's quite Slovenian team with many Slovenian staff rider management and yeah we find quickly uh, a deal and i joined them and yeah, i'm happy here so it yeah i cannot complain and yeah the truth was also that um ctc was pro conti you know and the the future it was not they didn't know or they will stop into war two or not so for me, it was just to go in the World Tour back. And um, this was my main goal. And yeah, now I'm here. Yeah. Well, have you met the Prince? That's another question. Uh, yeah, I met him last year, 2019. This year we were there also in Bahrain. We met him last year when we went to visit um, his um, palace or how to say. So I met him and I joined him also on the right because he do every year like um, fan club right or so he join us and we go we go together we did like two hours and yeah, it was really nice. So that year you well first of all you won a prologue stage in the Tour de Romani, Romandie. Um, did everything just go right that day? Yeah. I think prologues are also my, I think I'm, I can say that prologues are my, the best discipline. I think I'm quite explosive and like peak for three to five minutes, I feel pretty high. So, um, yeah, I was really looking forward for this prologue. It was not easy because I had really um, hard first part of the season. I did many races, so I was on Valenciana, UAE Tour, Strade Tireno, and then I did all classics in Belgium, and also Flanders, Paris, Roubaix, and then I went to Brabant, and I was already quite tired, and yeah, I must must went to Tour de Romandie, so yeah, what the only 
yeah, I had the only motivation to do good prologue. So I really, um, I really focused there, and yeah, in the end, it was good reward for the first part of the season last year. But despite being so tired, you well, did you take a break then? Because you went to your first Tour de France. Ah, uh, yeah. After Tour de Romandie, I took one week without bike, <laughs> so holiday, and then I just restart um, with trainings. I went to altitude. And then yeah, I was fresh again and ready. What was the first Tour de France like for you? Um, good. Um, I think I did pretty, pretty good Tour de France. I came in really good shape. Um, in one stage, I was third. So, yeah, I think one of the best results in my career. <laughs> and. Yeah, I cannot complain. There I was in really good performance. I also um, help a lot to the other teammates. And um, I think I did um, everything 100%. And I was, when I, when I came to Paris, I just, I was just happy and um, yeah, I couldn't do more. So it was really good and I really like it. Yeah. So, final question. So, you've had a number of good TT results. Which one would you rank the highest? Your national championships, your top 10 in the world championships, or your prologue win? I think, yeah, for me, I think it's still the prologue because I won, you know, 10th place or first place. It's still a little bit different. Um, so... I think it's the yeah prologue in Tour de Romandie. It's I think the biggest result. But around the performance and because it's really time trial, it's also time trial in Bergen. It's um, it was long, it was hard, and ten ten place on the world also mean to me a lot. So here it's really hard. But I think it's still Romandie because yeah, you win World Tour race. Stage and then you I also had yellow jersey and yeah you you have some I don't know how to say um, special memories you know because when you are ten you don't remember so much but when you win and you go in podium and take the also yellow jersey it's something that yeah, you don't forget. All right, thanks very much for this, Jan. Um, I'm gonna leave your all your social media down below so if you want to check that out. And yeah, I just want to say a special thanks for doing this. Yeah, no problem. Thank you for you to do, to meet you and um, hope to see us on the races. <laughs> That's it for this lockdown interview with Jan Traknik. And why not check out one of our other interviews with Nicholas Roach of Team Sunweb or FTJ's Ignatas Konovalovats. And as always, thank you for watching and see you next time.